this is Bob Board, the Sar Lake Erie Storm Women's College Basketball Preseason Preview. Last year we started uh, very strong, had a good preseason, went seven and three to start the year. Then we had that long Christmas break, and we came back and stopped being able to put the ball in the basket, and we struggled from uh, middle of the year on, ending up ten and eighteen. Well, the big thing is we returned four starters this year. Uh, Three of them seniors, Sammy Narducci, our point guard, Kading Skelton, our post, and Shelby Carpenter, our off guard. Uh, we also have two backup seniors coming back, Carly Garst and Carly Weichler. They're expected to, uh, to add something to the program again this year as they play their last year. And then we're returning our leading scorer, our top shooter, Kayla Gabor from Mentor, and some key backup people. For example, uh, her former Mentor teammate, Christine Dawson's coming back. And Christine was one of the top rebounders and block shot people coming off the bench last year in our conference. Uh, in addition to that, we've added some uh, freshmen that really look like they can help us down the road. Megan Christensen, Victoria Berto, and Sophie Soneman are all counted on to step in and provide really good depth for us this year. Well, when you talk about uh, GLIAC matchups, obviously in the Southern Division, there's, uh, there's teams such as Wayne State, Ashland, and uh, of course Finley that are always rivalry type games and, and they've got outstanding programs and you know that forces us into uh, preparation for some of the better teams in the country. Then you know when you talk about the people in the Northern Division you know the first team that always jumps out is Michigan Tech who over the last few years has had uh, some tremendous success. So when you talk about a GLIAC schedule, you're talking about, in my mind, one of the tougher schedules in the country. Well, it, it always is good to uh, start the season and, and see what your team has. And we open up with a pair of exhibition games with Cleveland State and Western Michigan, which is always a challenge when you're playing D1 schools. Uh, later on, right after that, we start with the GLIAC GMAC Challenge that we're hosting on November 14th and 15th, which is always exciting. Wayne State's joining us uh, along with Salem International and Ohio Valley. And then uh, into December, just prior to the Christmas break, we're going to go down at Youngstown State and play a Division I team down there. So, you know, a lot to look forward to this year in our non-conference schedule. Well, the big thing is we've worked extremely hard in our preseason workouts, I think, uh, as far as conditioning, running and doing those kinds of things. We've, we've worked as hard as any team I've ever had. I think we're prepared to start the season as well as we can. And, uh, you know, we're doing a lot more things defensively with my assistant coach, Joe Perella. You know, Joe's got us doing a lot more full court pressing and, and trapping and, and that type of thing. So I think we're going to, you know, we're going to offer a lot of challenges to the teams we're playing. Well, it's, you know, as I go into my 11th year, our, you know, our goal as usual is to be as successful as possible and, you know, make the GLIAC playoffs and, and see what happens after that. You know, I've got a great group of seniors that are showing a lot of leadership and working very hard with the underclassmen. So uh, this is a year we're really looking forward to.